planet coaster. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words, the words. If David. Planet Coaster, the future of Coaster Park simulation games has arrived. Surprise, delight and thrill incredible crowds as you build your Coaster Park empire. Let your imagination run wild and share your success with the world. Yes guys, David Brabham is behind this one. And if you remember, um, it was Frontier who did um, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. This game uses the Elite engine, uh, the Cobra engine. Which is quite odd, really, when you look at Elite and you think this runs on the same engine as Elite and this is a theme park simulator and Elite's a space uh, combat simulator and trading simulator. It's, it's quite amazing the flexibility of game engines. Um, so everybody is going mental about this game. So I just had to pick it up. I did ask David for a copy, but I don't think he's ever forgiven me for Horizons review that I did. David, can we not be friends? Come on. Be mates with us, David. I loved you in the 80s, you know, with the lead on my Commodore 60. Get on with that. Get on with that. So, what do you do? Well, it's a sandbox theme park simulator, but it also has a challenge mode where you have to complete your park on a limited budget and make more and more money, develop more and more rides, and build your park bigger and better. Like you do in Roller Coaster Tycoon games. I need a drink of tea. Now I have to say guys, this is absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. Yorkshire tea is just so nice, guys. Sorry. The game's quite good as well. It's jaw-dropping. When you look at this game, I mean, look at it. Look at it, guys. You can zoom right into their nipples, guys. You can see whether it's cold or not by zooming right in on that t-shirt. It's, the attention to detail is phenomenal. It's just absolutely, it, it, it took my breath away when I actually started playing this. Or was that because I was watching porn on the other screen? I, I, yeah. No, guys, this game looks great. It's so easy to play. Even a complete moron like me can play it. It's really easy to play. I mean, really easy. It's really easy, like Sunday morning. It's really easy, guys. You just put down your ride and press a button and hook up the path and, and press the open button and your ride is open and people will come and, and ride it. It's 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 as easy as old Meg, guys. That's how easy this game is. But does that mean it's any good, though? Is it any good? Well, let me tell you. As a sandbox game, it is phenomenal. It is going to give you so much pleasure. If, you, if the idea is, hey, look, unlimited money. I just don't care. Give us all the money in the world. I just want to build a beautiful attention to detail theme park with all the big rides i want to design my own coasters because you can you can just design your own rides guys it's just really easy the way you do it the the ui is phenomenal it's the sound is great the music's great and the camera is awesome did you know guys you can go on every single ride you can just sit in the seat or you can watch the um faces of the people on that or you can get a cinematic view you can put the camera around here and just have an awesome experience in your own theme park and your stomach actually goes up you know when you're on the rides it's it's just it brought back all the memories of when i used to be young enough to actually go to theme parks and and go on the ride and i will always remember blackpool pleasure beach as a, i was about 14 years old before health and safety existed and the grand national was these two roller coasters that used to race each other and my friend who had been there every year, I'd never been there before, and I'd never been on a big theme park rides before, and he was like easing me up, and, and he was taking us on all the little baby ones first, and said, you know, we're going to work you up to the Big Dipper. He never mentioned anything about the Grand National, he, he worked us up to the Big Dipper, and he took us on the thing called a roller coaster, it was just called the roller coaster, and it was scaring the shit out of us, but it was, when I look back, it was just tame. And then he took me on the Grand National, and he says, oh, Hey, come on the Grand National, Mac. It's, it's nothing, this one. This is this is another one for children. But I noticed there was no actual children getting on it. And I sat down, and there was one bar to hold on to. There was no harness. There was just a bar. And it was about arm's length away on the back of the seat in front of you, held on by four Phillips screws, and it rattled a bit. And we sat down, and uh, I just thought, yeah, it's good. And then once the ride started to move, he said, Mac, I've been lying to you. I've lied. This is the most horrific roller coaster in the whole of the United Kingdom. If you let go of that bar, you will be thrown out and die. It goes over a hundred feet in the air. It goes about fifty miles an hour. It it is terrifying. It is the ultimate white knuckle ride in the United Kingdom, and you probably will die. 
and I was fucking shitting myself and it just started to climb and there was another one alongside us you race each other because it's based on the Grand National Horse Race and there was like my mate was hanging out sticking his fingers up at the other carriage going we're gonna fucking beat you you c and I'm like hanging and then it just went all the way up the people on the floor were like dots then it just went around this corner and then I just saw this drop from hell and we just went hurtling down I was like ah that was great guys we I, I loved it so much that actually when we came back round and stopped we got off and went straight back on and joined the queue that there's a special queue you can go on to get on for 10 pence less it was 50 pence for a ride, I remember. And it was 40 pence if you go back on. Now it's probably about 10 grand to go. But it was fabulous. And you get all them feelings back with this game. It's it's kind of like that. Now, if you don't like the stock roller coasters, you can build your own. You can research more bits, more rides. And you can build your own. And it's very easy to do so. You just put your bits down and you can elevate them, rotate them, turn them, twist them. And it's just so easy to use, guys. And it looks phenomenal. Have I told you how good this looks? Now... It ran amazing on my uh, PC. I don't know how it's going to run on lower specs uh, machines, but it ran really well on mine. Now, here's the thing. I didn't really like sandbox mode because, I mean, it was fun, but I want a challenge. I want a challenge. I want to be running out of money. I want to manage my park. And you can do that with challenge mode. You have a set amount of money at the beginning, just not, not a lot, and you have to start thinking about which rides to put down. You can earn challenge bonuses by putting down a... Uh, it'll set you a challenge like make a roller coaster with two twists in it or something so you, you do that and you'll get a thousand pound as a, as a reward in in this mode all your rides have to have maintenance you have people dropping litter you have to have litter bins it basically plays like it should play in this mode in challenge mode you have to get enough money to build more rides the more rides you have the more people will come you have to make sure the rides are set at the right price or people will not pay the money and not go on them so there's challenges all around the park you've got to expand all the time you've got to keep people happy you've got to make sure you have the right balance between um drink shops toilets burger chains gift shops all kinds of stuff and there's all different types of rides there's not as many as i thought there would be but you can research more um, I don't know how many there is all together but my theme park's coming along now and it's looking really really good the problem with this guys it's too easy it's it's not really challenging it's it's way too easy it's it's ridiculously you can't I can't lose money I'm you can't how can you can't fail it's it's too easy what the actual I remember the old tycoon games were brutally hard you know railroad tycoon roller coaster tycoon this is like yeah it's there's challenge mode but you know you know what's for kids you know you can't really lose you know it's just doesn't matter where you have the difficulty people will build it and they will come and they will pay and they will come and they will pay it sounds like old Meg but yeah, the, the, it, that's the way it is. David, David, mate, David, what are you doing, David? David, we're not, we're not landing on fucking planets here. We're trying, you know, what's going down, Holmes? You gotta make it a bit harder than this. You can't just make this beautiful game and then just say, yeah, everybody, will, everybody will love it and go on the rides and give you the money. That's not, you know, sort yourself out, David. It's kind of thirty quid, guys. It's thirty pounds, three etons, three etons, guys. And it's not challenging. So you've got to ask yourself, do you really want to buy it? Do you want to throw 30 notes at this? You know, that's six skydivers, guys. Do you want to do that for an unchallenging game? Once you've built everything, that's pretty much it. You know, yeah, you can have fun, but 30 pounds worth of fun? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. It looks gorgeous, and I'm enjoying myself. I really am enjoying it. But I want it to be a lot harder than this. I want kids vomiting all over the place. I want my paths covered in vomit. I want the janitor who goes around to sweep it up. I want him to get mugged. This is what goes on. Them guns that fire the ball bearings at the targets. When I was at my local fair, it got ripped off its mountains, and the guy turned around and started shooting every f***er with it. Why can't we do that? That's the reality. A fairgrounds in the United Kingdom. You know, they're not nice like this. We want the people dressed up as teddy bears to get punched in the face off a chav. You know, 
We all went to the match at Blackpool. We stayed for the weekend. We went in the hedge maze and we ran through the f*** because we couldn't get out. That's what we need. This is what it's all about. Where are these things? These things don't happen. Everybody's too nice. We need a dose of reality. David, 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 you're from the UK. Go to Blackpool and see how many f*** me quick hats there is. You know, it's all not just like pirate hats. You know, you got fat slappers everywhere. We need this, David. This is what we're doing. It's a theme park experience. And, you know, we need all... We need chavs going around. We The monorail. You know the monorail that goes all the way around the whole of the theme park? That's not so people can go, ah... Uh, it's not... It's the spit out of and vomit on people's heads as you go past. There's none of that happening. It's not real. It's too easy. We need reality in. We need reality. We need fights in the funhouse. We need the ghost train. We used to go around the ghost train spitting greeners at the f***ing monsters. And we would go on time and time again and laugh at each other's hockle hanging down from the noses of Dracula and all that. It's, that's what we need. And who said I had a wasted youth? So there you go, guys. That's Planet Coaster. It's, it's disappointingly great. That's... The best thing I can say. It's disappointingly brilliant. It's brilliant to play. It's brilliant to design. But it lacks that challenge. So bear that in mind before you buy. I'm sure it'll get patched. I really am sure it'll get patched. Now, I'm not going to thumb it down because I am enjoying it. It looks so nice. And it's so much fun. But it just needs that. David needs a challenge, David. Do it. And bring the Thargons back into Willie, for f**k's sake, man.